All right, guys, today we're gonna be checking out tons of brand new Ninja Turtle figures from NECA. Oh yeah, oh, I love turtles. Oh, especially Michelangelo, he's my favorite. Oh yeah, Zeb Steve, well, we've got Michelangelo and more to unbox, so let's get started. Yeah. All right, guys, so like I said, we've got brand new Ninja Turtles to look at, and we're looking at two different lines because, boy, they're making all kinds of turtle figures and throwing them at us, which I just love. But here we have the first line, which is based off the Ninja Turtles video game called Turtles in Time. We've got four new figures, and then they've also got another series, which you find only at Target, which is based off the Ninja Turtles cartoon series, and it looks like we've got three two packs with that, as well as a bonus deluxe figure, which is Metalhead. Cool, so that gives us all kinds of figures there. And then on top of that, well, they sent us this really awesome Loot Crate exclusive featuring Ninja Turtles Shredder. Wow, which they've only made a limited edition count on, so this guy is super rare and hard to find right now, but he is awesome. Wow, looks just like Shredder from the old comic book series. But I think the first thing I want to open up is the figures from the cartoon series because I just love that cartoon, especially the villains. Wow, check out this two-pack. We get Slash and Leatherhead, probably two of the main popular villains from the first couple of years. Ugh. And after getting these guys out of the package, first guy we'll look at here is, oh, cool Slash, as he appeared in the cartoon. And, oh, man, it looks like his backpack fell off. Oh, man, so it looks like these things are really delicate. But yeah, that's supposed to go like that. He's got all kinds of uh, technology on him. But yeah, it looks just like he does from the cartoon. He's got that crazy eyepiece on. And he's got that crazy looking shell, which is a lot different from the other Ninja Turtles. Now the cool thing about this Slash figure is, well, if you don't like the cartoon version, well, there's also the action figure version from the 1980s that they made too with the arcade lineup. And I actually prefer this one, so he looks great. But of course, he's not on sale with the newest set. But uh, yeah, there's both slashes side by side. And as you can see, they are different figures. Yep, they look totally different. But if you're wondering if he comes with any accessories, well, yes, he does. And they decked him out with a lot of them. Look at that. He's got his swords. he got some pizza there. He's got the little turtle that he used to be with the palm tree that he used to look for in the cartoon. And he's got two big guns as well. So, yep, he can deck this guy out pretty well as he looks for his precious palm tree. Now, the second figure we have in this two-pack is Leatherhead. Wow, he looks great, too. Looks just like he does from the cartoon. And he's an oversized figure with that big old tail. But wow, he looks great. Just a little bit of detail on this guy. <laughs> he comes with a mouth that opens. <laughs> we get lobsters. We get, ooh, that big old rifle gun. We get, ooh, this bear claw thing, which is an awesome bear trap for the guy. Oh, man, still stepping that leather head, or you'll be a sore in the morning. But there you go, kids. Two awesome looking figures in this amazing two pack. And now let's ch check out another two pack here, which gets into some of the good guys. Ooh, we get April O'Neil, which was Turtle's best friend, as well as another foot soldier that looks a little bit different from the one we've gotten in the past. Yeah, wow, I gotta say the detail on this gal is amazing. She looks just like she does from the cartoon. Wow, so kudos to NECA for getting her sculpt just right. And yep, she's got that really cool yellow jumpsuit. And as for accessories, wow, you can duck her out with all kinds of news gear from Channel 6. Oh, I love it. So let's get out this foot soldier next, because he looks like another great figure. And wow, I just love him. He's got all kinds of little circuitries in his body which makes him a little bit different from the one we got last time. So yeah, now we can build our army because they're making so many of these foot soldiers and the different variations thereof. And I just love how they made him oh, with this torso, you can blow it out. And as for accessories, looks like we get a lot of these two guns and <laughs> this little alien guy. Oh man, I remember him from the cartoon. But yep, he's that little alien guy that uh, causes all kinds of trouble for the turtles. Blah. All right, so moving right along, we've got our next two-pack, which features, oh, Casey Jones and another foot soldier. So we can build our army up. But, oh, man, I just love Casey Jones. Oh, he was a hockey mask wearing vigilante on the streets. He looks great. Oh, man, looks just like he does from the cartoon. Sure and all, making him really awesome looking. And as for accessories, boy, he comes with a lot of them. Oh, man, he's got that cool duffel bag with all his... Oh, I gotta get this stuff out of here. 
because this accessory is just so cool to old school Ninja Turtles fans like myself. Well, we got hockey sticks and baseball bats and hammers. Oh, I love it. Of course, if good old Casey Jones wears this around his back. So yep, that is one awesome accessory that this guy just has to have. And as for the other figure in this two pack, well, we got that uh, foot soldier, which, <laughs> oh man, he's coming apart at the seams. Oh, I don't want to break him though, because he's only attached by that little wire there. Oh man, that's cool. So yep, another different variation. And we'll put the other two variations standing over him as to give their condolences. <laughs> oh, he's falling in combat. Oh, poor robot. And the last figure we have in this cartoon set is Metalhead, which this is awesome because look at this. We look at it from the side. It looks like the old VHS tape of the Metalhead episode. Look at that. There's scenes from the movie and everything. Cool. We open this up. Ooh, we see Metalhead inside. Wow, he's a big figure. Let's get him out of here. Ooh, he looks great. He looks just like he does from the cartoon. Wow, now that is one big figure, which kind of towers over how <laughs> people like Slash here. So, yep, there he is, looking great. And as for accessories, big old vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I can smack you upside the head with it, bonk. And then, of course, oh, we get all kinds of different hands and this drilling apparatus there. And, of course, one of the cool things about this figure is, check this out, he's got his own alarm system! Oh, man, super deadly! Pops right out of his chest. And, of course, you can switch out his hands with that crazy vacuum cleaner, too! Oh, man, so you can sweep up the turtles. <laughs> oh, boy, that is some really cool accessories. I love it. Hey, get that thing off my head. <laughs> oh, I love it. And, of course, when we put all these figures together, ba-bam, we have Series 3 of this really awesome cartoon series coming at ya. And since we've got all these figures out of the way, now it's time to turn to the awesome Turtles in Time series. Nice, and we've got ourselves some more turtles with this set, so I can't wait to open this one up, which is good old Raphael. And of course, out of the package, wow, he looks great. He looks just like his video game counterpart. Cell shaded and all to look like he just popped right out of a video game. Oh man, I love all those jagged edges, that's perfect. And if we compare him to the original, Raphael from the cartoon version, well, we see that they used the same sculpt, only painted them differently. So, yep. And you should probably also pick him up because he comes with this really cool hoverboard from the video game. Nice. And, of course, that's the only way to get this really cool item right here, which, let's see, pop him off that. And we can put him right on there to give him some really awesome hoverboard action, just like he does in the video game. And now that we've opened up Raphael, well, we gotta make room for good old Michelangelo, which is the last Ninja Turtle to open up in this arcade series. Here's another great looking figure. And the cool thing I like about this Michelangelo is that they made his bandana almost yellow, just like it is in the video game. So yep, there, those are side by side, looking great. Looks like they use the same sculpt for that one too. Yep, looks like they use the same accessories. <laughs> oh man, so yep, we got nunchucks. The twirling nunchuck, and of course that hoverboard. And this gives us the ability for Michelangelo to hover around, be awesome too, just like Raphael. And if you manage to pick up the two first turtles from the series one, which is Donatello and Leonardo, but bam, you now have the full complete set of these hoverboard turtles. Well, I gotta say, NECA went above and beyond when it came to these Ninja Turtles because they look phenomenal. All right, so now that we've reviewed the good guys, it's time to get into the bad guys, mainly Shredder. Crazy paint scheme in the video game, which makes him look super colorful. Boy, they went all out. I love the color palette they put on this Shredder. Because if you compare him to the Shredder of the cartoon, uh, yeah, he doesn't look as colorful. <laughs> ah, especially with that cape. But it is the same figure, just painted differently. And, uh, well, check out the accessories. Ooh, we get his lightsaber stick. Ooh, we get that big old hand that he uses to smash ya. Ugh, like so. Oh, give me your turtles. <laughs> Oh, that is so awesome. So, yep, looks like they came up with everything that you'd come to expect from the Shredder figure. All right, now it looks like we're done to our very last figure, and this is Leatherhead from that Turtles game. So, yep, it looks like we get another Leatherhead. Now what's getting him out of the package? Bam, bam, there we go. Oh, we have a cool Leatherhead figure coming at you. And if we put both these guys together, oh, man, it's hard picking a favorite. They both look great. 
And once putting good guys and bad guys together, bam, bam, we have ourselves the complete set of Series 2 of the Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time action figure set. And if we put all these figures together, holy cow, that's like 20,000 of them to collect this time around. <laughs> 12 in all coming at you from NECA. Boy, they've been knocking it out of the park. And yep, these things are great. 